Okay, so this is just a short video on how to do masking. Uh, this is a camera transition in Rainbow Six Siege. So first we're going to start by importing. So drag your clip. Then find the bit that you want and then crop it out. So typically in your clip you're going to want to have a kill. In this case I get a kill, this is just a T hunt. And then once you've gotten your kill, you go straight to your cameras. Okay. And then once you go to your cameras, you're going to transition through here to another part. So in this case, we went straight back into cameras, but that's not particularly needed. You don't really need to go back onto cams, and I'll show you why later. So this is where we will be uh, trimming. So we're just going to go ahead and trim right there, or we're going to cut right there. And we're going to move this one up. Okay, so next we're going to find the camera, and so just before it transitions, so here it says connecting, which is good, uh, so if we scroll a bit more forward, you see it transitions here, we're going to move it back, and then one more forward, we're going to trim right there, delete that, slide this under, so we want this to be completely flat, completely horizontal. Um, so the camera has to be okay so it's still moving we're gonna freeze it when it's completely still so right there so this end point right here instead is where we're gonna go ahead and slice and we're gonna do the rate stretch tool move it in this case I'm gonna turn off the audio for this one Okay, so what I've done is I've slid the video 1 underneath video 2 where the, where the cut is at. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and make this one a composite shot. I like to make this a composite shot. You don't have to because it's not moving. You won't really be pathing anything. If you didn't want to make it a composite shot, I'll just show you. Undo make composite shot. And then all that you have to do is go ahead and start tracing it like such and effectively we will be doing the exact same thing in the composite shot so I won't bother switching back all that you do is essentially you just go ahead and you make a path around this section and I'll show you what that's like when it's finished Okay, now with this done, it crops up the wrong bit, so we're going to go ahead and click this button, it should invert it. Then another thing you'll notice is this is way too uh, big, it's at 100%, we need to turn down the scale. Scroll to the end of your video 2, slice your video 1, make composite shot. So far it looks like this. Okay, so there's a couple of subtle things that we can do to make this slightly better. So first thing we can do is change the opacity. So I'm going to make it 100 at a certain point, but not straight away. Maybe add a bit of noise. Okay, so what I've done here is I've kept it at 50 and then turned it down to zero so the noise fades away. Same thing with the opacity except opposite, so it's at zero to begin with and slowly gradually turning up to 100. Looks like this. Okay, so of course these effects are optional if you want to give it a little bit more of a flare, um, you can do so if you want to leave it as is that's perfectly fine it's up to you okay so what we should notice is the transition so this transition here is not smooth you can see the cut so we're gonna go ahead and export this so right click make composite shot edit sequence okay 
So it's going to be a scale change. Make two keyframes before and after the change. Going to want it to peak around there. Okay, so you can make this smoother by, or you can make this quicker by closing up the scale as such. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a zoom blur. And we're going to make it max out around here. So we're going to increase the strength, make that as a keyframe. Here, we're going to just replace it with zero. Same thing with here, zero. So then it looks like this. Okay, so last thing to do is export. Don't forget to move this all the way back to the end of your edit. Then all you need to do now is export it and there you go, you're done.